with Ethereum smart contracts and Stark rollups powered by Starkware. DYDX protocol was created. The platform launched to decentralize its components after beginning its journey in the cryptosphere by providing spot trading. The majority of its exchange is built on trustless protocols, which are openly extensible without any authorization in order to decentralize the exchange. Okay, let's start with what is DYDX decentralized exchange. Much like centralized exchanges, decentralized platforms are also used for margin trading with sophisticated derivatives products, like leveraged tokens. The biggest decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap or SoshiSwap, however, do not provide the same features. Here's where DYDX comes into play. Decentralized Cryptocurrency Derivatives Exchange DYDX runs independently on a Layer 2 ZK rollup known as Starkware and offers a variety of perpetual options or margin trading. Prior to that, the exchange platform only offered basic crypto margin trading capabilities with a small asset base. DYDX official website claims that since its founding, it has reached a 64,000 unique traders with a total trading volume of more than $670 billion. Okay, now let's look how exactly does DYDX DEX work. Cryptocurrency derivatives products have historically been supported by centralized exchanges. However, decentralized liquidity pools have been made possible by smart contracts on protocols like Curve or Aave. By putting down collateral and borrowing money from a decentralized liquidity pool entirely funded by other traders, users of DYDX can open a leveraged trading position. That way, DYDX margin platform gives users a virtual exposure to cryptocurrencies. It provides a large selection of assets, and some of them can be traded with leverage up to 20x. Additionally, transactions happen quickly and without a wait, which speeds up trading. The platform only accepts USDC as collateral, giving all traders a stable asset. But what is the DYDX token? DYDX token was launched on August 2021, and 7.5% of all tokens were airdropped to traders who had previously used the protocol, according to how much volume they had done. Initially, mainly a governance token was created to let the community control its Layer 2 protocol. Participants, partners, traders, and liquidity providers will be able to collaborate and manage the improved protocol, thanks to the shared control. Let's summary this video by presenting how the future for DYDX looks like. With Teams Vision and last announcement, V4 Upgrade will be developed as a standalone blockchain using the Cosmos SDK. DYDX team plans to switch from the current Starkware proof-of-work consensus to the Tendermint-based mechanism. It will include an off-chain, decentralized order book and matching engine that can greatly scale throughput. The DYDX network's requirements are taken into account when creating the new chain. Instead of paying gas fees to trade, Traders will pay taker and maker fees based on the number of trades they execute, much like the current V3 platform. That way with V4, collected platform fees will be given to validators and stakers. So, that's the end of the video around everything about DYDX and its token. Now if you have found the content helpful, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.